Well, I put coats three and four on the tongue and groove planks. And I got my bright white to pop. The Real Milk Company assures me their finishing cream is a one-time application and hardens to a wipeable, non-yellowing protective coating. The owner of the company says he's been selling it for over 10 years without a complaint. Now listen, I could buy any product off any shelf, but my intentions are to be as green as possible. No chemicals, no adverse reactions, no fumes, no odors. You get the picture. I did a couple of test wraps on the aluminum struts. I carried it all the way through installation in order to see if the fitment had changed or something needed to be done differently. The first step was to adhere an inch and a half strip of mass vinyl down the center of the strut. This will act as a thermal break as well as a vibration dampener. The adhesion only has to hold until I bolt the plates up against the van frame. It's very easy to work with this vinyl. Then locate the mounting holes and drill out the vinyl. I didn't want to push the drill through the other side, possibly compromising its hold. Then I cut the leather, pleather, artificial leather, whatever you want to call it, and glued it to the face of the strut. Now when wrapping it, first you have to introduce the leather to the direction you want it to take. Teach it. Slowly show it where it should go and how it should go. The boards will span between the struts floating freely. The three layers of insulation resting on top of the boards should keep their travel noise to a minimum. Remember, this design is specifically so you have access to each individual bay anytime, anywhere. Form follows function. I'm hoping for a subtle sense of structure. The full effect may not be realized until the whole ceiling is installed. Mm -hmm.